the summer look like just building off of how the playoffs ended? Have you been focusing on anything specifically or just kind of a broad improvement of the game? Yeah, kind of broad improvement. Uh, they got a pretty good look last year. Shots I'd be getting offensively, the type of looks I'd be used. And so I was able to really kind of hone in and practice a lot of those movements. And, uh, really just cross board, just trying to become more efficient, better at what I already do. Fox shared at the end of last season that for the first time in his career, being eliminated really stung, like the end of the season really stung for him. What was that sting like of, of being eliminated from the playoffs for you, and how has that motivated you, I guess, for this season? Yeah, I, you know, it always stings. Uh, if you don't make the playoffs, you always kind of wish you did, and you feel like you could have done better. And for us last year, it was um, so much positivity all year. I had a really good year, finished third seed, and then a first round exit, it feels like as much as everybody around us is telling us how great we did, it feels like it's a disappointment, at least inside the room. And so um, that's fuel for this year, motivation. Uh, lost to a really good team, obviously, but I think you know, the expectations uh, for us internally last year were, were going that series and beyond. At the end of the season, you had mentioned that you wanted to get to another level of physical condition, especially with all you know the physicality of the playoffs. Do you feel like you got there? Do you feel like you're better prepared kind of going into this season for the rigors of, of yeah, the year? Yeah, from where I started going into last season, I'm definitely in a better spot. Uh, a lot of that is the way that we're going to play and how we want to play and super fast pace, getting up and down, uh, increase the physicality defensively is something I'm sure Mike talked about a couple of seconds ago. Uh, so just across the board, everybody's got to be in really good shape for us, for this to work at the highest level that it's supposed to work at. And, um, do I realize that. When you look at the new guys like Sasha and Chris, what, what, what elements do they bring to this team that maybe you guys did not have last year? Yeah, I mean, uh, Sasha shoots Sasha shoots the hell out of the ball. He, uh, <laughs> He's coming here all fall. He's broken all our shooting records that we had last year. He's uh, somebody that's already been in pickup. Just he's a shot maker, so he's really exciting. Uh, and Chris is a professional. And Chris is just super solid on both sides of the ball. Uh, I think really injuries derailed him out in Indiana, but he's a really good player, and so he'll help us a lot. Both of them will. Can you talk about that, that kind of sting? I mean, is there something that bothers you in the way that the season ended, or any if anything, and you look at it in its totality, or are you kind of at peace with it? No, I don't think. I don't think it's something I've been thinking about all summer and you know, had a poster on my wall and I'm like, oh, like the Warriors, like getting back at him. Uh, like I said, just I think, you know, we had a lot of confidence in the locker room last year, a lot of expectations, we had a great season and you know, thought that was a winnable series for us, especially getting up 2 0 at home and uh, their championship team. So that's what they do. Obviously I think if you ask a player on their team they'd say they'd they had more confidence or, or their expectations were high, so uh, just looking forward to going through it again this year. We, we get them at home, I think, for our home opener. and it should be a good game and hopefully get off to a good start for the season. Can you elaborate a little bit more on Sasha breaking team shooting records during the fall? Like, what did that mean specifically? Yeah, I mean, he just, yeah, we have a lot of shooting drills we do as a team, stuff we do on off days, and he comes in, he doesn't miss. So he's, uh, you know, a couple of us have some work to do to try to catch up. What do you yeah. make of uh, the West and kind of what's happened over the summer and just how competitive it's going to be? A lot of teams have gotten better. On paper, at least it looks that way. A lot of teams have gotten better. Um, teams are getting healthier. It's it's tough. You know, this is the West. This was the West even when I got traded here last year. The West was tough, and there were some teams that saw the injury bug or uh, you know, a couple trades happen or things didn't pan out. And uh, that really doesn't change what we do inside this building. Uh, I think we're really comfortable with the guys that we have coming back and having some you know that continuity of, of last year and last season and continue to just do what we do and uh, you know, the rest will take care of itself but there's a lot of teams that made a lot of changes for sure. Monty and Mike have both talked about cha championship expectations. How do you guys as players kind of kind of navigate that and deal with those expectations? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's not something that we've talked about too much to be honest. Uh, not sure what expectations the front office or the coaching staff really has. I know that you know, inside the room we have all the confidence in the world. Uh, we think we have a really good group, a group that when we're playing at our best can beat anybody. So. Uh, I think for us and right now, just we're trying to get off to a good start. You know, last year we started 0-4 to start the year and dug ourselves a hole early and uh, you know, try not to let that happen again. Mike, just bring him back the headband for a second here. Headband will be back. Start the year at least, it'll be back. You got to tell 2K that. They don't have it. They don't, don't have it in? No, man. I'm not going to lie, I don't play 2K that much. Yeah, it's the same. You got to get going over there. Right. Last year you came out last year firing really efficiently. Is that typical for starts to the season for you and how much do you feel like you have to maybe replicate that start you had last year? Um, you know, pressure to really replicate it. I think it's, uh, you come in, your legs are fresh to start every season and it's a lot of individual work that's gone into it. You take a lot of shots you know, all off season. 
uh, your individual games at a really good point. And then I think it's it's tougher as the season goes along to continue to get the individual work in. A lot of that becomes uh, covering, resting, obviously having team practices. So uh, maybe you're in a better rhythm individually at the start of each season, but it's also our jobs as pros to keep that up and continue to do that over the course of the season. But hopefully get off to a good start. Feel good. Over the offseason, as we're trying to kill time, we typically go back and like drink or talk about moments from last year and your shot against Utah at home. Uh, just where does that moment just rank for you in your career, and what do you expect the atmosphere to look like this year based off of what happened last year? Yeah, I mean, I think you got, I think I get tagged in that video once a week at least on Twitter, <laughs> so I get to relive it uh, over and over again. It's uh, It was a great moment. Uh, obviously, the sound of the crowd when the ball went in, it's, you know, you still get the chills watching it. Even in the moment, it was even better. So it's definitely up there towards the top. Uh, have some other playoff moments that might be ahead of it. You know, that was still a regular season game at home. And I think it was February, January, February of our season. But uh, looking forward to moments like that. I think the fans are super excited for us this year. So I assume the crowds will be really good to start the year, or really over the whole course of the year, as long as we uh, do what we need to do. So we're all obviously really excited. Last one, guys. The confidence you guys have stepping into this year, based on what you guys were able to accomplish last year, how much does that change on your end and the new season? You know, not not too much. Yeah, we're confident, um, but you know, we're not we're not setting all these ex- expectations, and we're not. You know, I think talking about things that we don't need to be talking about right now in, in October. Uh, I think right now it's just doing the work, you know, establishing, continue to establish the right culture and chemistry, play the ball, play the game the right way on both sides of the ball, and. Um, Maybe we'll start to talk about what we're supposed to do or anything like that as we get you know, deeper into the season. But we just got to get off to a good start. We're excited about the group we have here, and uh, it's ready to get going.